welcome to the Flute Show with Florence Estrin here on virtualsheetmusic.com. I'm Robert Estrin. Today's subject is what is flutter tongue? You know, you've probably all heard it and wondered what the heck it is. I can tell you honestly, it's kind of a distorted sound. It's not the most pleasant sound, but it creates a wonderful effect in the right situations. Florence, maybe you could tell us what flutter tongue is, first of all, and when it's used and how to go about achieving it. Okay, well, you know, it's interesting because when I was a kid, and you probably remember this too, when we were kids, there was a product called Ruffles, and there was a commercial that said, Ruffles have ridges. And all the kids used to, we all used to do that. Ruffles have, well, you know, I, I can do it better on flute than I can say it, but. You mean they don't have that anymore? <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but basically, it's rolling your R's. And so it's, it's, it's fluttering your tongue. And it's like, you have to let your, t your mouth be relaxed, your tongue be relaxed enough, and you have to use a little bit more air to get that rolling Maybe going. before we even go further, just give it a little example of what this is. Okay. <laughs> that's it, huh? Yeah, that's a little passage out of due to your sonatine. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, it's, it's rolling the R's, and then... So Italians probably can do this naturally? And <laughs> Spaniards, and except there are people, as a matter of fact, I had a friend who was Spanish, and he used to get criticized by his father because he wasn't rolling his R's. It turned out, underneath his tongue, it was too connected. And people do run into that. Some people have too much connective tissue, to <laughs> roll their R's. And for those people, generally there's the gargling type of flutter tongue, which I am not very skilled at because I always roll my tongue. You do it with the back of the tongue, kind of? You're, you're doing it in the back of your throat, just like gargling. Oh my gosh. Can you see if you can do that, or are you um, on the well, spot? Well, I've never really <laughs> mastered this, but... No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that answered that no, question. No, seriously, I just, I have never really, because I could always do it with a tongue, mm -hmm. it was so easy, it came so naturally to just do so it. So why would any composers want to mess up a beautiful sound with flutter tongue, well, in your opinion? Well, why would any composer want to use a minor second? Okay. You know, I mean, any kind of... Any Good kind, answer. It, it, gives, it gives some spice to the music. Uh, minor seconds are very dissonant, by the way. Yes. <laughs> so I, I, I played a wooden quintet by, by Francais, and um, it's really cool because at a certain point, the, the French horn goes... And it's really loud and obnoxious and just... <laughs> Fantastic. It's just so much fun. Right. So, you know, if you're having trouble with flutter tonguing, experiment with both types. Um, I learned how to flutter, you know, obviously I, I could roll my R's easily before I had to try it on flute. And it was one of those things where, you know, I think it was in a band class where they explained what it was. And we all went, wait, you go like, oh, you know, and then we all could, most of us could do it, right. you know, uh, and that's usually the easier way to do it. But if you can't, mm -hmm. there is the gargling method. On the French horn doing flutter tongue, it always just feels terrible, you know, because you work so hard to get a nice clean, clear sound and then you go and mess it up, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're right. And you know, the other thing is that you end up spitting all over the instrument <laughs> sometimes. But um, one thing I did want to point out is that because you, you take, sometimes you need to use more air to make it work, uh, you got to be careful of your pitch and you, mm. have to, you have to compensate and bring it down because right. you might blow a little sharp when you're trying to flutter tongue. Cool. Well, I think that covers flutter tongue really well. And uh, I guess there's no analogy on the piano for that, except maybe putting <laughs> metal objects on the strings, which we've covered in a video of a prepared piano. That's as close as we come <laughs> as pianists. Right. All right, well, I want to thank you so much for another great flute show, Florence Estrin, here at virtualsheetmusic.com. I'm Robert Estrin. See you next time. Mm -hmm.